What I will say, I think we're in the middle of a massive experiment worldwide. And that Where's is, the guinea pigs? Uh, uh, maybe. The experiment is, will people listen to scientists? How is it that we don't have endless pictures of this world from space at this point in time? How is it that an International Space Station astronaut hasn't bothered to poke a camera out the window to, to show us the 15 or 20,000 satellites orbiting the planet? There is no image of a satellite in space doing what satellites supposedly do, but let's get back to the Earth image for a minute. Apollo 16, Hasselblad, out the window of a capsule in space, took a picture of Earth. Apollo 17, same thing. They stated the time they did that. 2002, the supposed blue marble. We can prove beyond argument that each of those is fake. With the two from the Apollo missions, you compare them, the land masses are wrong, they don't mask the mapping geodetic survey data, we can show clouds were cloned, that these are constructed images. In the case of Apollo 17, they gave us the time the image was snapped. In the modern age, someone just rolled the clock forward to show the wrong portion of the Earth was lit. If we jump up to the 2002 Blue Marble, we can tell you the damn name of the artist who made the image and the quote that he is attributed, something to the effect of, NASA gave me data so I made this image in the way I thought Earth should look, and again, the clone cloud problem. NASA's Rob Simmons made this, and it had wide appeal too. For example, it ended up as the default background on the iPhone. I didn't even know until I bought an iPhone um, and turned it on and kind of did a little happy dance. Simmons' job is... It's primarily taking data and making pictures out of it. That's what this is, a composite of data sets from several different instruments translated into a picture. The, to us, the really cool thing was the data set. Up until that point, there was no realistic color map of the globe anywhere. It is Photoshop, but it's it's it has to be. Then? There was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of the water. Those are the pieces. You've never seen a real image of this world from space. Why is that? You've never seen a real image of anything from space. You've never seen a real footage of a satellite. When you put all this other deductive logic around what we're being told, when we logically go at these things, we find problem after problem after problem. Using deductive reasoning, we can understand that we've been lied to.